you guys, it's Audrey. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what I got from Warp Tour, uh, slash what I bought from Warp Tour. Um, because some of the things that I got, uh, they were free, but some of the things that I do have, I did buy with my money. So, um, I'm going to start with bracelets, and I got these all free. Um, this green one right here is from when you bring in, like, three canned foods, and you can cut the line in Warp Tour, so that way you can be in the front, and so that's where this one is, and I do highly recommend doing that because it saves you so much time um, trying to get into the venue because it takes forever, the line was crazy long, and so yeah, I do recommend doing that, and then this one right here, um, I got at the end of the show, like some guys were just like handing them out and everything, and so I got one, <clears throat> sorry my voice <clears throat> is still uh, scratched up from the other day, and then I got this one in the beginning when I was standing in line, and it's the, um, it's about the PETA 2, yeah, um, it's just, you know, stop animal abuse and everything like that, or, you know, I, I can't really explain too much of what it is, because I don't, um, really know all that much about it, I just know a little bit to get the subject started, and then I got this one watching, um, Split Breed, right here, um, and they are a really good band, they're like, um, they're kind of like Ghost Town, but with a little bit more of a rap style and a little bit less um, screaming but they are really good they were the first official band that I saw at Warp Tour and I um, met the guys in the band and everything and I got their um, sign I got their autograph in my journal and so they're really good and actually and actually pretty awesome and I don't really listen to too much um, electronic music and rap music but their type of music was actually pretty good and I really liked it and I did enjoy um, watching them and so yeah and then another thing that I got for free was at the truth tent at Warp Tour if you go there and you like participate in their games and everything that they have there at the end of the game you get a free shirt and so I got this free shirt right here and it's a extra large I think in men's sizing so it's an extra large in men's sizing and I had so much fun at the truth booth honestly like I spent prob it felt like an hour but it was probably like less than that but I had so much fun at that um, tent, it was so awesome, and I had, I met so many people, and I got way out of my comfort zone, um, but that was, like, super fun and amazing, um, I have the, um, map to the venue that I went to, which was Mountain View, with the bands on the back, and the time shows, and everything, and, like, where everything is at on here, and it was two dollars and honestly I do recommend buying a map please 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 buy a map it's only two dollars I swear two dollars it comes in handy so goodly like I would have probably missed all of the bands that I saw if I did not have that map with me and I probably wouldn't have been able to make it to the bathroom without that map so I do suggest and I do highly recommend buying a map. It's only two dollars out of your wallet and it's it's good for the whole entire day. So yeah. Um and I bought these sunglasses right here. One because I don't own a pair of sunglasses, two I needed a pair of sunglasses. Um these were ten dollars at like just a random like merchandise tent or a vendor and um, I like them a lot and I've been trying to find sunglasses that have like the straight uh, 
squared out lenses so that way it frames my face better because with regular sunglasses that aren't like wider because I have a big head and I have a chubby face um, regular sunglasses that people that regular people get like from Walmart and everything like that like Target um, they tend to like squish my face a lot and like I tend to get a headache because of it and they don't fit right it makes my nose look pudgier so um, I've been looking I've been trying to find a pair of glasses that are good and look like this and I love these so much, not only because of the design and the coloring and everything, but it's because it's exactly what I wanted and exactly what I needed. And this was only $10 at one of the tents that I went to. I was just walking around, and so yeah. And I bought the 2015 um, CD compilation. And these were all, these are only five dollars at the actual Warp Tour um, venue at I want to say the Warp Tour tent. I have no clue what it was called, um, but they're only five dollars. I haven't opened it yet, and I don't really want to open it because I want to keep it as a souvenir. And I really only know one song from here, sadly, and. Um, so yeah, I just want to keep it like in the packaging and everything as a souvenir because I don't want to touch it, I don't want to mess with it because yeah. Um, and then at the end of the day, like as everybody was like shutting down and everything, I got the Warp Tour program and it has like pictures of all these like bands and everything and it's, it uh, states about the AP awards or AP Music Awards and everything, and, um, yeah, and so, these are free, by the way, they just hand them out at the, um, AP, uh, vendor, or tent, and so, you can just find them there, and so, yeah, they're, that's free, um, and I bought this from the Hoods Up tent, and I made a really good friend there. His name is Jake. You should get, you guys should definitely go like say hi to him and like stop by, talk to him for a little bit. Um, but I finally got a product from Hoods Up, and I've been dying, like dying, to get something from this line. And so the beanies are five dollars, the bags are ten dollars, and T-shirts run to about twenty dollars and I didn't want a beanie because you know I I didn't I just didn't want a beanie because I didn't like the um like look of it it was just a little too standard for me and then I didn't want to buy a t-shirt because I didn't want to spend my last twenty dollars and I wanted to keep that in my wallet so I met right in the middle and I bought a bag for ten dollars and it says Ronnie Radke is my spirit animal and oh my gosh I, lo I am in love with this bag I'm legitimately taking this everywhere I go and if I ever ever get a chance to see Falling in Reverse live because I haven't seen them live yet but hopefully, if I ever get a chance to see them live, or if I ever, like, see them at Warp Tour, or anything like that, I'm taking that with me, and I'm having them all sign it, because I need that to happen in my life. <laughs> because I love them so much, and their music is so good, and, oh my god, I just love Falling in Reverse so much. And, um, another thing that I got... Um, during the Blackwell Brides set, um, <laughs> there's a bit of a story behind this, what I got, <clears throat> sorry about that, um, this was thrown into the crowd, and it hit a girl in the face, bounced off of her, hit my friend's foot who is in back who is standing in back of me she was my actual friend that was in back of me um bounced off of her foot and landed right next to mine and the girl next to me 
um, she was trying to get it, and I, um, stomped on her hand for this, and I do, I do now feel bad, but I don't regret what I did, and me and her, we were, like, about to catfight each other over this, but, I mean, I still got it, and I'm so happy that I have it in my possession now, um, I, I do feel greatly bad and ashamed, but I don't regret what I did, but I got, I got CC's drumstick, like, I, I got CC, the drummer, Christian Coma from Blackville Brides, I got his drumstick, and originally, um, I had it hanging on my wall over there with, like, my abundance of band posters and pictures and everything, but the tape that I was using, it wasn't sticking on the wall right, and and this is a heavy, like, drumstick. And so, I think I need to get, like, stronger tape so that way I can actually, like, put it on the wall. And so, yeah. But, I, I, I'm ashamed of what I did because I did stomp on that girl's hand. But, I don't regret doing it because I do have CeCe's drumstick with me now. Uh, but yeah, um, that's my whole entire haul that I got from Warped Tour, and I hope you guys liked it, and I hope that you guys are able to make it to Warped Tour one day in your life, because Warped Tour is so much fun, like, you have a great time there, depending on who you're seeing and, you know, what music you like and everything. So, yeah, I greatly recommend being able to go to Warp Tour, and so, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!